All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another video. Got kind of a cool uh, thing I wanted to show you. Um, we've been working on a pair of Daytona USA arcade games. These came out in 1994, so they're 21 years old. And whenever this came out, we're going we're gonna to shoot a few videos actually about these Daytonas because they're just such great games. But whenever these came out, it was kind of one of the greatest games ever released at the time. So Sega spent a whole bunch of money designing this thing, put all kinds of effort into it. And one of the things that they uh, made really nice on the game was the sound system. So what I thought I would do is show you something kind of cool that's hidden inside the test menu. Um, it's got an extensive test menu in it where you can uh, adjust, you know, check different things to make sure everything's working fine. So uh, there's one to, ch to test the sound. So what I'm going to do is go into the test menu on this one uh, and just show you kind of how they set it up. Okay, so what I did was I just pressed the test button and it, uh, it put it in the test mode. So let me see if I can get that to focus a little better. Be right back. I'm going to adjust the focus setting. Okay, well that was about as good as the focus got, but <laughs> I'll read through it just in case you have trouble reading it. So basically we're in the test mode. So it says test mode, bookkeeping, game system, coin assignment, input test, output test, drive board test, sound test, TGP test, memory test, backup RAM clear, and exit. So you can go up to the sound test. We're going to, we're going to do that. And to do that, you press the green button on the control panel. So we're going to the sound test. So we went into that. So now it says sound test auto, which just kind of goes through a bunch of stuff. And then it says background music one, background music two, sound effects one, sound effects two, voices one, voice two, voice three, name results engine. So what this is is basically you can go in and play every sound that the game can make which is really pretty cool. So I'll show you just a, a little bit of that like for instance the result thing is kinda cool. Congratulations! You please. And then it would say first. First. You placed all right, so you kind of get the gist. You can go through and play anything. Twenty, and it just shows you all of the different sounds in the in the game. So this is when you're entering your name. C. You know, on the if you get the high score. Now list your, your name, name with, with the, the other, other champion. champion. Oops. Oops. <laughs> and this was for the Japanese version. Boom. Boom. They hid stuff like this in the game just so that the operators could find it and kind of play around with it. So lots of voice uh, call-outs. You're running sixth. You're running eighth. And there's a couple from the, from the Japanese version of the game that I guess they just, again, just put in there just so that you could uh, uh, trip out on it. Yaksora! <laughs> Turn around. Wrong way. Time, Time lap. Time attack. All right. So we'll do a couple more of those, and then I'll show you what I wanted to, what I'm filming this video for. There's somebody coming up behind you. The white, the white flag, flag is, is out. out. This, this is, is the, the final, final lap. lap. Hey, you're off the track. Way to maneuver that car. Right, okay. So, if you go up to sound effects, you can do all of the different things, you know. This is the crowd cheering, for instance. Right? And here's the, here's the air drill when they're changing your tires in the pit. All right, so you can play anything, right? That includes the great background music, right? So uh, this is the main. This is the main tune. It's called "Let's Go Away." Everybody's heard this. This is the main Daytona tune.
so there's an alternate version that they play sometimes, which is this one. Also, the excellent game over part, like right. This is everybody's favorite. Check this out. This is what happens when you uh, when your game ends. And then they've got one called bitching, right? The dream of Daytona. Music's just fantastic. So that is sound test background music one. So the the what I wanted to shoot this video for was background music two. For whatever reason, there's a there's a special uh, little uh, kind of Easter egg hid. If you put in a, in certain uh, initials as on the high score screen, it plays in the background music from some of Sega's other games. And then in the operator test menu, it's actually put all of that in the test menu. So you, we, you can go through and play a lot of these songs from fa famous Sega games uh, that came out before Daytona USA. So if you go into that, check that out. So we got to play some of these. I think I'll turn it up just a little bit too just to make sure that it, uh, it records it well. This, this thing had an excellent sound system. You've got a nice speaker on the left of the monitor that kind of wraps around the monitor, a nice speaker on the right of the monitor that wraps around the monitor, and then there's a subwoofer in the seat which you know, right now is below the camera. So I'll turn the volume up just a little bit. All right, now we'll play through some of these classic songs. So the first one that they have listed is uh, the theme music from Afterburner. All right, just a short little hit. And then exhaust note. Galaxy Force. <laughs> and I don't know if it'll pick up on the camera, but this is all uh, this all this music has a lot of reverb and echo on it. They designed it that way just to kind of you know have a real kind of wet, rich sound. All right, G Lock. GP Rider. The famous Hang On. Uh, Outrunners, which was actually the third Outrun game. There was Outrun, then Turbo Outrun, then Outrunners. And then the original Outrun. Power Drift. Radmobile. You can imagine that the you know the guys that designed his game and programmed it probably just had a real field day recreating all of these theme songs for this. Stadium Cross. Strike Fighter. Space Harrier, that's a famous one.
Super Monaco GP. <laughs> Turbo Outrun, the sequel to the original Outrun. And then a fighting game thrown in there for good measure, Virtua Fighter, which had came out probably the year before this game. Virtual Racing, which was the kind of the, it was the first 3D racing game uh, that kind of set the way for Daytona. Daytona being one of the most successful arcade games ever, but Virtual Racing came out first uh, and was more of an F1 style thing, and the graphics were a little simpler, but they kind of proved the model with Virtual Racing. So here's the theme music for it. All right, Super Hang On. Vermillion. FZ, I'm not sure what that is. It's not F0. Enduro Racer. Thunderblade. Quartet. SDI. And the uh, last four are all from uh, Daytona. Uh, and I, th I think the way that you could get these to play if you were playing the game is whenever you put in your high score, it has something to do with if you put in the initials of the song. Like if you put in RM, it would play Rad Mobile's uh, sound effects or background music while it's, you know, telling you your results or whatever. But these last four are the actual Daytona famous songs. So this is the King of Speed. <laughs> It's kind of a truncated version because, again, it would be playing behind uh, whenever it's telling you uh, your results and uh, that you're in the high score table. And then uh, Pounding Pavement. Let's go away. Right, and I think I'll play just a couple more of the uh, the regular uh, ones that it plays. Start your engines. D goes to victory lane. Here we go. And then breakdown is just literally a little breakdown that they throw in sometimes. We've already played King of Speed. Let's go away with the alternate version, Sky High. Check it out. And I don't know if you can hear that, but a lot of these actually have lyrics to them. Some of them are in Japanese. Rolling Start. This is when it, I'm sure whenever you're doing the Rolling Start at the beginning. Or actually. I 
I'm not sure when they play that, but I've heard it. Can You Fly, we've already played. Pounding Pavement, we've already paid, played. Sweat. The end of Dry Way. And then wait your entry. That's when you're waiting for other players. There we go. Just figured I'd show you guys that because uh, it's pretty cool, right? We're going to film a couple other videos of uh, this set of Daytonas that we're working on. You'll see them link up, do their thing. Network checking. There we go. It's just such an awesome game. It was really almost over designed. It has it has underneath the seat on each side there's ten different game boards to make all the sounds work, all the graphics work, all the steering work. Um, it was just a really incredible accomplishment that they were able to pull off such a such a uh, complicated game back in 1994, and it really kind of paved the way for a lot of games that came after that. So. We just figured we would show off the music with this video. We'll, we'll shoot a couple other videos. I'll, I'll shoot a video showing you all of the different boards in it, and then I'll also shoot a video um, just showing you an overview of the game and play it a little bit. So keep checking back on our channel. We'll be getting a lot more games in uh, and a lot more videos in. So anytime we get something cool like this in, we'll film a little video of it. We will see you next video. Let's go away.